Enjoy the Easter holidays? You want to play the car again? Come on then. Come on then. Good morning. It is Thursday the 8th of April 2021. I don't normally say the date at the beginning of a video. Um, not really a lot happening today. I'm off work. Amy's went to get her blood test done via the doctors she's actually gone to a, a future inns hotel to get her blood done which she's quite happy about because when she goes to the doctors they always mess it up and they can't take a blood basically it's just a blood test just to check that she's all right and the boys have been playing need for speed as you could see on that little tiny clip so yeah they've been doing that we're just literally waiting for amy to get back and then we're gonna okay and then we're going to shoot off out to the water just to get the dog out and the boys out for a bit. You having a good day, mate? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Charging? I'm going to play on the switch. You're going to play on the switch? Rasta Mouse. Rasta Mouse? Come here then. Rasta Mouse? Rasta Mouse is George's choice of the day. Yeah? Here you go. There's Rasta Mouse. There's Rasta Mouse. And what are you what are you playing on your switch? Uh, Just tell us. Minecraft. Minecraft. All right, sit up on yeah, the sofa that was, then. That was for my birthday. That was, and you got your switch for Christmas and Minecraft for your birthday. Yeah, Matthew's getting his hair cut next week, hey. aren't you? Look, look at the characters. Oh yeah. Rasta mouse again. I've just put it on. Look, Rasta mouse. There you go. So you're getting your hair cut next week. Yeah, I can't wait. And I was going to get George's cut, but Mummy started crying when I said I was going to get it cut. So she do, she doesn't want it cut. So originally she told me, yeah, book them both in. I booked Matthew in for the 14th, which is a week today, because obviously they're going to be busy. I've got to book it. So I've booked it into New Barbers that's up near us. And I said to him, can you do George as well? I explained to him about the length of George's hair, which... I'll put a little picture up now and see how much difference the growth is in the last year because he hasn't had it cut since a year ago. It was literally a couple of weeks before. Uh, uh, it was literally the end of March, about a couple of weeks ago, a year ago, that he had it cut. And then we went into the first lockdown and he hasn't had it cut since. Matthew did have it cut in the break in between, which is why he isn't too bad, like too long. So Matthew did have it cut, but George's is that's a year of growth. So I'm going to put a picture up now. I'll put one of then now, then and now sort of thing. And you look how mad, how quick that's grown. So, But I booked him in as well, and then she messaged me back and back and said, no, don't. I started crying when I knew he was going to get it cut, so I don't want it cut. So he isn't getting it cut. I did, however, get him this for... Sorry, I'm just trying to unravel it. I got him this, like, Nike sweatband because I thought, you know, it would help. Let me just try to unravel it. I thought like that would help like keep the hair out of his eyes, but he won't wear it. I've tried. We're going to keep trying with it. And I bought him some like these like Alice bands like that go from side to side. We haven't tried them on him yet. It's just, we're not bothered about him having it long. We're quite happy him having it long, but he doesn't like getting it brushed and he's not a fan of getting it washed. And obviously he gets mucky. He's a boy. So what do we do? I don't know. We're going to leave it for now because Amy started crying when I said I was getting it cut. So we'll catch up when Amy gets back and find out how her blood test was. Because she normally gets white coat syndrome and they can never find a vein. And she's more scared of getting her blood done than she was of having twins. Can you work that out? I can't work it out. Um, but anyway, she should be back in the next clip. How was your blood test? It was fine. I think that was probably the easiest blood test I've ever had. This likes doing the thing then. It was the easiest blood test you've ever had. She might have a tiny little bruise, but it shouldn't be a bad one. No, it'll be it'll be fine. 
normally it, it um they normally have to try like they try three times on this arm then three times on that arm and then they go through my hand because if you look at the veins of my hand they're lovely but, that's just because uh, you're so pale probably but yeah he got it first time i was very impressed so what's the plan for the rest of the day i don't know we're going to go to the water, take them to the water. I think we should. Yeah. It's brightening up a little bit now. So, what time are we now? Midday? No. Nearly. 20 to, one, uh, 20 to 12. So, we'll go about midday-ish, I suppose. My results will come back next Friday. Okay. So, we'll see. We'll be happy if I'm premenopausal. Amy thinks she's premenopausal. No, the doctor said either underactive thyroid or premenopausal. Premenopausal. It's all right. You've been premenopausal for ten years. <laughs> but anyway, so we're gonna pop out and about. It's not great weather. There's not a lot we can do, so we're just gonna take them to the water, get them out for an hour. They have been quite happy at home, but because I'm at work the next two days, it's better to get them out today. Yeah. Walsh, I'm here it's because then Amy hasn't got to do it on her own. Maybe you could get me a coffee on the way out there. On the way home would be better, wouldn't it? Mm. Way home would be better. No. Because what am I going to have to do on the way home? What are they going to want on the way home? They're going to want me to stop at McDonald's because I have to drive past it no matter what way I go. So they're going to be on my case to stop at McDonald's so you can just get a coffee from there. Well, we will be probably having either steak or burgers or wraps or something today. We are not having a takeaway. Agreed? I've been telling you for days, stop encouraging me to have bad foods i'm not being funny but um i can't remember what i was gonna say now but i need to give away some of my easter eggs because i've still got like 16 left it's okay and they can't just stay here well we can give some away to family and stuff or whatever it's no problem right i think she's bored though aren't you Winnie! i need to put on a jumper yeah it's a little bit chilly so we'll go soon and we'll catch you on the other side. George. Mummy. Hi Math. Do you like this bit? Do you yeah. like this bit? Come on. <laughs> Whoa, slippery. Yeah, it's slippery. Why is this all green stuff? What's all this green? The green stuff makes it slippery. George has come a little bit further along. I think he likes the sound of the water more here. Eh? Look, there's nobody here. Apart from hundreds of miles of moorland. Wow. What is it? Stones. Go on then. Put it in there. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, just we just thought we'd get them out for an hour or so. I mean, I don't know how long we'll last. Maybe maybe a couple of hours, I don't know. It's a little bit chilly, hence the coat, but it's maybe because of the open moorland. It's, it's not really cold. But yeah, just, this is a nice place to take George where we haven't got a... All right, we've got to watch it doesn't fall in the river, but it's not really far, as long as he's careful. You want to go back where Mummy is? Looking for mummy, this way. There's mummy. Come on then. Oh, now you want your boots. Okay. Yeah, give them to daddy. No, other one. 
Tá bom? Yeah. Well done. There you go. Hello. I presume this is recording. I'll press record. Um, so I just had a call from the transport team who are going to be able to bring George home. Um, after school every day, so that's, well, that's a massive help. Um, maybe down the line we'll be able to do pickups, but the problem is uh, when Adam's on a day shift and Matthew would be late for school, so we can't do that. So I'm sort of in the midst of sorting that out. Um, but the routine's going to change. I need to print off some new pet cards of our car, the school, and the minibus um, to, because I'm changing George's routine. Um, because it's one to one, she had an amazing point. I said every morning when he sees his school uniform and he kicks off, um, and then that will carry on throughout the morning till he gets into school. She said maybe he's got himself into that bad routine because not all autistic children have a good routine, and I never thought about it like that. So, anyway, I'm going to change the routine up, take him up in the car, and then when Adam's on his days off, I'll be able to get Matthew in earlier, and then George can continue going in the car. So that's good that's a help so there we are George and Ellie just got kicked by a horse because he went up to this horse there here look I don't know if you can see it in the distance there this grey and black horse um, he just went straight behind it and gave it a massive slap on the arse uh, that's not a good idea so that panicked us a bit um, he's so quick this boy Adam's just had to run off and grab him so um, I better go and help he's gonna walk around is he going to go all the way around? Don't Is it going to get in his boots there? No. I think he's alright. If he walks slow it went. Oh, he's still there, look. He's pulling flowers off of the prickly... Well, it's prickly here, but the bit where he is, I think, is dead. Where it's got all the... where the water's been hitting it and it's took all the buds off. Look. He's just picking them off. <laughs> Did she chase a stone? What do any of the rest of you autism parents do with kids in this day and age when everything's shut? So this is like all we've got. I was going to say all we've got. That sounds like I'm being like negative, but look, when you look around, there's nothing to be negative about. But no, that's true. but like, what do you do? Like, you know, we can. They're right there. We, what can you do really apart from? get out in the like fresh air we're lucky that we live right on the moors and obviously right by the sea as well so we got the best of both worlds both ways haven't we really yeah definitely but what do, what does every other parent do what are they doing at the moment because when you go to a playground at the moment there's so many other kids in there i mean there's like too many i mean uh, I, I know it helps to have a proper functioning back garden which is something we don't have yeah um, well we're working on that but so i think that's going to make my life, especially for summer holidays, it's going okay. to make my life so much easier when our back garden's sorted, because then they can be out there and hopefully we'll have some grass and stuff. Yeah. Because at the moment it's just tragic. We're going to get the fake grass put in, I think. What do the rest of you parents do? Because we kind of come to the moors, or the fringe of the moors. We don't go way out on the moors, obviously, there's no point. But we just come to here, really, and they get a bit of water sensory in. Come back. I thought he was going to go after the horse again. Come back this way. Yeah. George is over at sea. So we've been here, I think, about an hour, haven't we? Well, we'll try to delay him a bit longer. Whoa! He's already wanting to go and get an ice cream. He might just go to that little pool, though. Looks like we're done. So I'll grab all the stuff. George is already over that pool. Well, don't do them like that because you'll get your trousers wet. I'll take them off at the car. Oh, no. When you come to the moor, if you come to the moor, if you ever do, just make sure you take everything with you. Don't ever leave anything here. We've got Amy's coffee cup, which I'm going to bring. Don't leave litter in places like this. The thing is, you think that's an automatic thing to say, but people do. You come in, there's always, look, there's, there's like barbecue remnants there. People come in for barbies, which is okay on the fringe of the moor, you're not allowed on the main moor I don't think, but they come in and leave all those little metal disposable barbecues here. 
which really is disgusting really it's a national park I mean look at that and they've already had various wildfires on Dartmoor already this year they've had two they had, well they had one a couple of months ago which was um, which was done by someone cooking something and they had another one but the problem is when the moor when this catches up it's like gorse it just fly it just goes massive so right they're ready to go Whoa! Whoa what, is this? what is it, Judge? Wow! Wow! My window! Oh. My window really colourful! Your eyes! Purple! 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 How many times has George done the car wash? I don't know why. Yeah. Oh, right. You like it? Yeah! Wow, this is loud! You like the sound of it, do you? I'm not going to show you what Amy's actually doing <laughs> because it's disgusting. Can you explain, please, what you're doing? I do a foot pack and you leave these like moisture socks on for about an hour and a half and then after a few days your foot just starts peeling and then all the dead skin comes off and you just peel it off off your feet it's absolutely gross to yeah. no i'm not going to show people that you don't want to see it it's therapeutic happy judge happy did you have fun Rust the mouse, yeah. Did you have fun, ma? Yeah. Yeah? Threw some stones, got the dog out, got some fresh air. Yeah. Went through the car wash, had a McDonald's, had two ice creams. Mm-hmm. So it was a good day. It was a good day. Good. So, yeah, we, we lasted, I think in total we've been out for about three hours, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it takes a massive lump out of their day, don't you think? Yeah. It takes like a huge amount of lump out of their day, where um, <laughs> a huge lump. You can't oh, I can't look at it. It's disgusting. It's not disgusting. Um, he keeps asking for Rasta Mouse on the like BBC iPlayer, but it's not on there anymore. They've taken it off. So even because he wants to watch it on his tablet and on the TV at the same time, the same episode. I don't know why. It's a George thing. I don't know if it's an autism thing, but it's a George thing. So yeah, we'll just chill out now. It's about, it's just gone three, is it? You need to just, I'll put the oven on, but you need to decide what you want for your dinner. It's gone 10 past three. I said I'm happy to have whatever, whatever you want, have all the things that you said earlier. So I'm happy. I think the choice was hamburgers or cheeseburgers. Lasagna. Lasagna. Chicken wraps. Chicken wraps. Rump steak. Rump steak. I think we should have the hamburgers. All right then. Hamburgers. Amy's not having no bun. Yeah, give him that. He wants the cardboard up the middle. So it's just hamburger with bacon, salad in it, some French fries, a couple of onion rings, and you've gone for the no bun option, mm. but with gherkins. Always. Yeah. You're wrong. Well, that brings an end to today's little vlog. We got back after the little trip out. George's behaviour went a little bit downhill from then and we're out of his melatonin medication so he's not been having that before bed the last three or four nights I think. We have already ordered it but it takes five days for them to make it and be available so he's been a bit twitchy come bedtime but he was okay but he had such a great morning, really good morning actually, really really good. The best morning he's had when I've been like, on a day off work for a while um, which bodes well for hopefully for Amy tomorrow when I'm at work but no he, he behaved really really well all morning and then when we were out he was pretty good um he spiked up a little bit when we got home I don't know if it was just the excitement of the day or the fact that he didn't have his medication that just normally calmed him down before bed which really helps but anyway 
that's the end of today's little video hopefully you guys are all well and safe and sound i'm about to watch arsenal hopefully progress to the semi-finals of the europa europa cup or europa league um and have a gin and a lager and i'm back at work tomorrow morning and amy's gonna be at home with them tomorrow so that's it for today hopefully you enjoyed the little video and we'll catch you again soon